No, it's now see you ruin it. Dude. What the he fuck, man? He needs the marker, dude. Hang on. Ready? Oh, I thought we were trading this a month. No. Never mind. Ready? Awesome. It's his first <laughs> time. I thought, that, I thought that was a mic check. My bad. <laughs> Um, we went into the record really, uh, you know, ex excited to the fact that, you know, we had a, a strong label that was, you know, really leaving it up to us to put out, you know, the record that we felt like we wanted to put out. And we got into the studio with Rob Rucha, who co-produced the record. We, we let yeah. it happen organically, we threw music back and forth, and then as we got closer to November, we started tightening up and, you know, getting it down to the ones that we really, really liked. And once we got there, we found out we were at 20, so that was plenty for the record, and, you know, we kind of honed it down to the 14 that we liked, and that's the Poison Red. Uh, it's an abstract name. It's, it's a call to alarm for, for the world on, on this record. It's just we're slowly being poisoned all around us uh, in, in, a, in a, a figurative way of saying it. And, you know, it's a lot of influence to, to humanity these days, you know, out, you know, even outside of politics, technology, social media, you know, uh, just a new way of, of living, and, and uh, it's it's alarming, which is probably where the red came from. Like danger, stop sign, yeah, yeah. danger, you know, warning. You know. Yeah. So this this record, uh, once we started looking at the subject matter and we started tossing around the ideas, first it started with red, and then it, it, for some reason I <laughs> sent a text to the guys. I was like, "What about the poison red?" And they're like, "Cool." You know, we, we bounced around a couple names, but that one was the one that we all kind of like felt like. Yeah, and then we stuck. put the and then we put the the on it, which makes it great. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was yeah. poison red. Yeah, first it was the poison, poison red. red. Then we put the. the. All right, right. The the, the work. The. Hey, hey. The, the. I'm just saying. The the. <laughs> the the. The the. Not against social media. Uh, just I want to make people aware of what social media is. It allows people to you know make horrible mistakes on what they say yeah. to a certain person without thinking they immediately just post it and then they're dealing with that problem for the next two months because of comments that come from it it's like that kind of thing is there's certain things that you can, you should really keep to yourself and you know help you grow to be a better person as opposed to uh, having everyone else help you figure out an issue that you really should be figuring yeah, There's a reality there of, of you know, that, that yeah, you posted a, a concert, but you missed it. Yeah, because yeah. you were staring at it through your fucking through your phone. phone. Yeah, I want to tell that lady as well, can you stop filming me with a video camera? Because I'm really here in real life. You can enjoy it in real life rather than through your phone. I, I, I post pictures of a great burger that I had or, or stuff like that. But what I don't do is I don't spend 20 minutes taking the picture and figuring out the filter and everything and then go to my food and it's cold. Yeah. I take a quick pic and before I put the comment, I put the fucking thing down and I and I eat. Yeah. You know, that's the difference is that people are, are, are living their lives through their devices. They're, 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 they're just so focused on them, you know, like even t today walking around New York City going you know, place to place. Almost got, we almost got run into that guy, you know, it was just on his phone. Just looking straight down. I mean, never looked up. You know, never looked up. And if, and if, you know, if I wasn't just a me walking down the sidewalk and I was like a bus, like, you'd be dead, bro. Yeah. Like, bruh. 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 Phone down, bruh. Put your phone down, bruh. <laughs> I mean, for real, man. Like, <laughs> you know when you put the end on it? Bruh. bruh. Or the UH? U it's the UH. Yeah. Bruh. No, no, that was a, that was a, that was a shiprock thing. Somebody mentioned that, hey, you guys should do a song. Cause I was like, hey, I'd love yeah. to do a song with Lizzie. Yeah, for sure. And I know what song I want to do. Oh yeah. Separate lives. So I got the song, girl. So learn it, learn it, learn it, and call me. Rob is as Puerto Rican as they come, and and and. You know, when we did release Orgullo on the first record, it's something that stuck with people. Mm -hmm. So they've always wanted it to come back. So, you know, every once in a while we'll throw one in, um, and people have been asking for a couple of records. So, you know, this time around when it did come up, he put a vocal line to it, and I was like, man, that's, I love, I love the lyrics. So yeah. I, I dropped a verse on it and, and kept his chorus, because the chorus was, was a great chorus. 
Hey man, Google Translate. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can write some shit. Google Translate, man. It's a, a testament to uh, Mr. Parks, my seventh grade Spanish teacher. Gracias, Senor Parks. Shout out, Mr. P. Gracias. This is BC from Nonpoint. This is Elias from Nonpoint. And this is Rashid from Nonpoint. And we want you to subscribe to Louder Noise. It is the loudest noise on Earth. Earth. And watch and subscribe. Watch it too. And you should watch it as well. And subscribe. subscribe. And subscribe. And watch it. Subscribe. And watch it. And watch it.